Princess Kate sends heartfelt message to actor with cancer amid own recovery. The Princess of Wales reached out to an actor who's returned to work after undergoing treatment for stage 4 ovarian cancer. The Princess of Wales has sent a touching letter to Bollywood actress Manisha Koirala after completing her own treatment, reports have claimed. Princess Kate underwent preventative chemotherapy in the past few months after being diagnosed with an unspecified type of cancer earlier this year. Now, the future queen was praised by Koirala, who has been treated for stage 4 ovarian cancer after having been diagnosed with the illness back in 2012. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The Nepalese actress said that Kate congratulated her on her recovery and return to work, The Independent reports. She stated, I wanted to reach out to HRH the Princess of Wales to send my good wishes. I am deeply heartened to receive such a warm response from her. I want to use my voice to not only support cancer patients but also to raise awareness about the need for equitable healthcare access, and the importance of knowing the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer. Having faced cancer myself, I know how isolating and challenging the journey can be, and I believe it is essential that we all play a part in changing that reality for others. The Princess of Wales went through a challenging year after tests following a major abdominal surgery in January revealed cancer had been present. Kate went through treatment for her illness but recently announced its completion and her return to work. Princess Kate's style choice confirmed after Kensington Palace statement sparked confusion. Princess Kate's style choice has been confirmed after a Kensington Palace statement sparked confusion. Jess Collette, the designer behind the Princess of Wales's headpiece at the 2023 coronation, has finally confirmed the accessory did classify as a tiara. There was much speculation leading up to King Charles's coronation that Kate, 42, would not wear a tiara in line with His Majesty's wishes. One week prior to the coronation, the Times reported that Princess Kate was planning to wear a floral headpiece instead of a tiara. It was suggested this was because King Charles believed in the importance of sustainability, and his love of nature. In addition, guests were asked to wear hats or fascinators to the event. Following the ceremony, Kensington Palace issued a statement to say that Kate did not wear a tiara to the coronation. Instead, they claimed her headpiece, a Jess Collett and Alexander McQueen creation, consisted of silver bullion, crystal, and silver thread leaf embroidery that formed a point above her head. She told people, it was a tiara that I made for the princess, but it was very much based on a piece that I have called the golden crown a band of leaves made from gold leather. When people wear it, and many people have hired it, they always tell me after that they felt fabulous and radiant from inside. Speaking about Kate's headpiece, Colette said, we were at home watching it from the sofa, in my pajamas with my family. When Catherine arrived, I just even my children went, oh wow, mum, it looks really good. And you know children are not afraid to tell the truth. It was so exciting and nerve-wracking, but everything I have ever dreamed of. Colette started her business with a £3,900 loan from the Prince's Trust, 27 years ago. She added, the only way I can describe it is that the stars were aligned. While the coronation was the first time Colette worked with the Princess of Wales, she is hoping it will not be the last. She continued, I remember thinking at the time, well, I won't have to do this again, because she'll be wearing the actual crown next time. But she always looks good. She's confident in her style and she's so graceful she's really grown into the role. Kate Middleton's modern and effective tactic makes royal family seem stuffy. Despite a particularly challenging year, the Princess of Wales has maintained her commitment to various charitable causes displaying her support in numerous ways. She's made her presence felt through social media updates, heartwarming videos, behind-the-scenes discussions regarding her charities, and unexpected joint outings with Prince William. As part of Baby Loss Awareness Week, 
Catherine recently shared a heartfelt note on X, formerly Twitter, Baby Loss Awareness Week is such an important moment to support those who have experienced the devastation of baby loss. Sending love, strength and hope to anyone affected. Directly penned by the princess, the message was signed off with C. This personal touch has proved very popular as a leading royal expert commented on how personal messages from Catherine are making waves. Speaking to OK, former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond praised this trend, this is such an effective and modern way of using her influence and staying in touch, even when she is not making personal appearances. Jenny added, official statements from the palace now seem quite stuffy and extremely formal by comparison. Social media can be a source of awful abuse, but Catherine and William are showing that it can be used to spread goodwill and kindness. With her choice to sponsor organizations mostly focused on well-being, children's formative years, and mental health for the youth, admirers have lovingly dubbed Kate the children's princesses on social media. Her engagement with charitable work broadened in 2022 when she became a patron of the Maternal Mental Health Alliance, MMHA. When promoting the cause, the princess emphasized that no mother is immune to experiencing anxiety and depression. Kate Middleton pens personal message for Baby Loss Awareness Week, love, strength and hope to anyone affected. On October 15, the Princess of Wales, 42, sent words of support on social media to those navigating the loss of a child. Baby Loss Awareness Week is observed in the UK from October 9 to October 15, and Princess Kate referenced the wave of light happening tonight. Baby Loss Awareness Week is such an important moment to support those who have experienced the devastation of baby loss, Princess Kate wrote on the X account she shares with Prince William. Sending love, strength and hope to anyone affected, she continued, adding the hashtag hashtag wave of light. The Princess of Wales signed the post C, shorthand for her first name, Catherine, and to signal that the message came directly from her, instead of someone on her communications team. Baby Loss Awareness Week began as Baby Loss Awareness Day in the UK in 2002, started by a group of parents inspired by Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day on October 15 in the US, according to its website. Today, Baby Loss Awareness Week and its alliance of the same name work to support bereaved parents and families, raise awareness about pregnancy and baby loss and accelerate care for anyone affected and the prevention of future pregnancy and baby loss. Princess Kate's message came with a photo of a glowing candle from British brand Plum and Ashby. Baby Loss Awareness Week culminates in a global wave of light, where people are invited to light a candle at 7 p.m. local time and burn it for at least an hour to remember the babies who were lost too soon. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.